Is that not Mr. Richard, my neighbor? He has gotten himself another car. Wow! This car is better than the previous car he was having. Just imagine how he is living. He is always happy, because everything is working fine for him. But I don't know what is my problem. Why is my shop not moving in the right way? I can't even make that kind of amount I really want, in my shop. And I am a Christian, I pray every day. But why is God not really answering my prayer in the way I wanted? Just look at me, I always walk to my store every day. But what is Mr. Richard really doing to have this much success? Because, my store is even bigger than, that of his. I am going to ask him, what he is really doing, to make such success. Good morning Mr. Richard, good I met you, how is everything? Mr. Harvey good morning, I am fine thank you, and you how is everything, and business? What is wrong? Mr. Richard, my business is not doing too well, but why? You have a very big store, and you said business is not doing well. I don't believe you. Why don't you believe me? I might have a big store, but the profit is not huge. Don't you see the car you are using? That is a sign of one whose business is doing well. You have even bought another car, because I saw you days ago, with your new car. You are successful in your business, this is why you could afford the car, not just only one car, you have even bought another one. But just look at me, before I could gather my profit, different bills will arise to claim the money. That is bad. I would have tell you what to do, so that you will be able to make more profit. But, you might not want to do it, because of your Christianity believe if a thing. Come on Mr. Richard, tell me, I will do it. No. I will not tell you, you might not want to do it, it is better, you don't know my secret, of how I am making my money. Please tell me, I will do it, I am really tired, of being walking every day to store. Is alright I will tell you. If you really want to succeed in your business, you need to add fake product to what you are selling, you buy fake product in a cheap amount, and sell it in the price of the original, the people will not know, if they find out, after buying, there is no refund of money. Okay, but how am I going to get the fake product? Are you kidding me? You don't know how to get a fake product. No. I don't know. Is alright, I will take you to the company, where you can order a fake product, you just need to order fuel original. But the much of your product should be fake. When you have the product, you are going to put the original at the top, of the fake, just for a sample, when you always sell the fake. With this you will make a lot of money. Are you serious? Is this how you are making the money you are making? Yes, this is the only way, you can succeed in business, and achieve that thing, you really want to achieve. If not, you will just be there counting years, when your mates are all growing in their businesses. Wow! Thank you for this information. You are welcome, so when you are ready to buy your next goods, called me. Is alright thank you. Are you going to your store now? Yes. Alright, come let's go. You must know this, 80% of people out there, do all their business in this way, if not you will just be there, year to year without achieving nothing. I never knew, this is how many people out there, run their businesses, that is why they are successful. I am even thinking of getting another car very soon. Another car? Yes, another car, that is befitting for me, as one of the young boss in the town. Wow! When, I have not, even be able to get one. Don't worry Mr. Harvey, just do what I say, you will see yourself getting one, for yourself in a short while. I just pray this work for me. Don't worry, it will work perfectly, you only need to be smart. Our God is indeed a good God, He has said it, in His Word. In Deuteronomy 28 verses 12, The Lord shall open unto thee His good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. This is the promise of God, to all his children in the world. Our brother have a testimony, to share with us. He wants to tell us the good thing, the Lord has done for him. As I called on brother Harvey, to comfort and tell us what the Lord has done for him. 
Hallelujah. I want to thank God for His goodness. God has just finally blessed me with a wonderful car. I am so grateful to our God, for all what He has been doing for me in this recent time. For this I will be giving the church the sum of $5,000. Praise thy Lord, hallelujah. Wow! Brother Harvey that is nice of you, thank you very much, for that huge sum of donation to the church of God. Our God will continue to uplift you, in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Honey that is nice of you. That is quite a huge sum of money you give to the church. Are you sure that will not affect your business? Don't worry my dear nothing will affect my business. Sometime it is good to do this, just to get honor from the brethren and people out there. Don't you see how our pastor is honoring me? Even to yourself, don't you see how the people is honoring you already? This alone is enough to do this. You are right, it is what doing, no matter what it costs one. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Please sir, the battery I bought from you last week, was not original. Why did you sell me a fake battery, in the price of the original? Are you alright? Why would you just come to my shop, and accuse me, of selling a fake battery? Everything I sell here is original, I can give you some of my product for you to see. This is what you told me the day I came to buy this battery. But, at the end you end up selling me the fake. I can see you are here for trouble. I am explaining to you, is what you are saying, you are still say. Sir you need to change it, and give me the right battery I paid for, if not, you will not like what I will do to you. Why would I change it, when it is you who spoiled the battery? Who even knows how long you charge it, that make it spoil, and now you want me to change it. That is not possible, you can do your worst. Did you said, I can do my worst? Yes do your worst. Is alright? You are going to see what we happen to you, that we teach you a lesson to stop stealing from people. You can't do anything, live my shop with you trouble and bad luck. I should love your store, with my trouble and bad luck, I can see you are not a good person, you called yourself a Christian, but, people like me who are not a Christian, are even better than you, because you are a cheat and a liar. I don't care, I rebuke the devil that speak through you. I don't even need to do you anything, don't worry. The same God you serve will judge you. Is okay, let the God I serve judge me, but as for me, I can never give you another battery, rubbish. Hello Sister Lena, how is everything? It is nice seeing you. It is nice seeing you too Brother Harvey. How is business, and your wife? We are fine thank you. And you how is your husband, and your kids? We are fine to the glory of our God. All thanks to God. Thank you very much for what you give to the church, last Sunday, that is huge, God Almighty we reward you. Thank you for that. Please Brother Harvey, do you have this recent lead light, that changes color? No, the ones I ordered was not delivered to me. Maybe by next week, I will have them. By next week? Yes by next week. Is alright, I will come back and check next week. What is wrong? Is there something else, you are looking for? Brother Harvey, I don't mean to offend you. What is wrong? As I was coming to your store now, I met this setting man who was just walking out of your store now. And the way he was lamenting, was not really good. And I asked him why is he lamenting, I just really wanted to know what was his problem. And he showed me the fake battery he bought from you. Really, you yourself know, that battery is fake. As a child of God, you are not supposed to be doing your business, like the worldly people. This people, are sinners, you must not do your business like them, the Bible make us to understand, in Mark 8 verses 36 to 37, For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Please you need to watch over this, and be careful with how you run your business. You are right Sister Lena. The truth is that, the brother did not buy the battery from me. It's just this boys who don't have money to buy what they want, they just go around looking for that one person who they think, they can steal from. This is serious. So people do that? Yes, many of this young boys, this is what most of them do. Oh sorry for that, that is very bad of them. And they will go around, and be tarnishing someone's image. 
that is very bad, may God have mercy on them. Is all right, let me be going, I will come back next week. Have a nice day. Thank you, Sister Lena, have a nice day. Thank you. Just imagine, how this useless boy, almost destroy my reputation. What would she have been thinking about me now? If it's not I was smart enough, to defend what that boy must have tell her. But, why did she even come to my store today? She has not be coming to my store, to buy something from me. But, what happened, that she came today? I don't get it, what is the meaning of this? Or, did she plan it with the boy? Just to bring down my reputation. Because she knows, the amount I just donated at the church last Sunday. I don't trust this my Christian brethren, some of them, might just be jealous, but pretending to be your brethren. Anyway, let me not bother myself over that, good she did not get what she was even looking for, I don't blame her, is that useless boy I blame. Breaking news, a ship carrying goods one of millions in the north coast capsized this morning, stay tuned for more updates on this. Oh no, my goods what a huge sum of money, has gone. Oh Jesus, I am finished. God why did you allow this to happen to me? Dear calm down. You will not understand, I was told the ship is already coming. Now it has capsized, I am finished, all my labor is gone. Calm down please. Dear, help me, my heart my heart is hotting, I am finished. Honey, what talk to me? Oh my God, I need to call for emergency, Jesus help me, my husband is dying. Doctor where is my husband? Doctor what is wrong, what happened talk to me, where is my husband? Madam, please take heart, we lost him, he could not survive the shock. He developed a heart attack instantly, this is why we lost him. Oh no, I am Finnish. Why me? I am left alone. Oh God help me. Thank you for watching this video. We are telling our brothers and sisters in the Lord to be watchful over this. Please do not do things like the world. Let's do things in the way it will glorify the Lord. God blessing might tarry, but it will definitely come in the appointed time. Let's be patient in whatsoever thing we are doing. I pray may God help us and give us the grace to rely on Him and obey Him. And we encourage you to join us, with the International Director, Pastor Paul Ricca in Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide, where the undiluted messages preach, messages that will change your life, messages that will prepare you for heaven, if your go is to make it to heaven, join this last day's movement of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, before His final coming in the Rapture, Holiness Revival Movement Headquarters, is behind Federal Government College, Kuali FC Tiabuya. Nigeria. Come, Jesus is waiting for you. Please subscribe like share and leave a comment. God bless you.